What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMAC and welcome back to another episode of Fade the Beast. We're here on the Hermitcraft server and I've just been here today kind of tinkering around. We went through the update. We're now running the ultimate pack 1.1.2. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. There's a lot of new fun things for us to do. And one thing you may notice, I have all the wrath lamps, which here just an episode or two ago, we put them all up and finally evened them out. Well, guess what? Wrath lamps are bad. They're causing all, I don't know if they always did this, but they're causing some type of crazy just block or light update that was constantly going and uh, causing the server CPU to get a little wacky. But um, yeah, took them all down and kind of neat i finally put in these roadblocks down here which i plan to do anyway but i decided to put in the lighted ones just so we wouldn't have to use as many torches but now we can run super fast <laughs> so just been tink i've also been trying to better plan out now that i know the blast furnaces can share the casings how we're gonna lay them all out and I'm still trying to figure out whether I want to do, this is a mock-up of the grinders, whether I want the blast furnace and the grinders in the same area, or whether I should separate them out. And I'm thinking of even, I'm doing blast furnace, blast furnace, blast furnace, and then one more right here. Of course, these will all be taken down. And then grinder, 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 grinder. So something like that. Might be kind of neat. I took out... Over here are um, the, the whole iridium thing. I'm going to redo it and make it look a little bit nicer, and then we'll take a look at it. But um, I'm thinking in this area, a better thing that's going to go. There's two, there's probably more than two, but there's two main new machines that a lot of the Greg Tech uses. I don't want to beat them to death today because I said I was going to take a break from Greg Tech for a couple episodes. But new machines, I want to show you. So first off, we have this plate bending machine right here. And we can just look at the recipes. We don't even have to hook it up. A lot of stuff now requires these plates instead, which you just stick an ingot in. There's 50 different ones. I'm sure some of them are just because there's, you know, different types of copper, but it's all the same just from the different mods. But a whole lot of stuff, and then a bunch of this Railcraft stuff, which is pretty cool because I'd like to get into Railcraft soon too. But anyway, there's that machine, which we're going to have to automate a whole bunch of them and set it up so that it can do every single type of plate. And then this guy, assembly machine, I'm assuming this is kind of Greg's take on an auto crafting table slash assembly room. But um, if we look at the recipes here, there's a lot of them. Different recipe for making circuits now, for making the data control circuits, for making like everything. And there's all sorts of other new stuff. There's now a high voltage transformer. You can now put in things that will make, I think it makes the IC2 machines like our macerator, our uh, compressor, all that. We could have them run off of MJ instead. I'm assuming that's what it is. All the railcraft stuff. And yeah, this can even make torches and all sorts of crazy stuff. But we're going to need this for a lot of our Greg Tech stuff now, I think, to make these data circuits and all that. Plus, he took out, before I was using a lot of my recipes. Take a look, take a look. <laughs> and a lot of my recipes, I was using circuits instead for like all these, I was using those golden chip sets just because we have a ton of gold from that gold farm, the pigment farm. Well, all these ones that I use chip sets in now don't work anymore or they're all obsolete. So that kind of sucks. Plus some of these, they just changed the recipe for anyway. Gotta do, yeah. So all sorts of new stuff that we gotta do. And of course the fusion reactor is updated, it's upgraded. And no longer works. Now the old fusion reactor block just upgrades to what the new one is. And that's a different recipe as well. Oh, I didn't want to get into all this stuff today. But anyway, the new fusion reactor. Why is it not showing me? It's not even showing me how to craft it. That's weird. That is very bizarre. 
fusion, oh, control computer. Maybe that's what we have here now. So that's a little bit different. We have the injectors. We have the fusion material injectors. So tons of new stuff. And you can see by looking at this, this is how big the new fusion reactor is going to be. That's three wide and then in some cases three high. So it's really cool. Probably not going to fit in this room anymore. But not making any UU matter at the moment just because it's down. But we're not going to get into that all today. Um, today, let's go take a look um, at, yeah, I finished up. I also tinkered around with this finally. I said I didn't want to do the B DNA last time until we had the new tank set up. And I got, this is probably the look that I'm going to end up going with. So when I started transferring, I got almost all my liquids in here. So over here we have the sodium, we have silicon, mercury, this one is going to be, that one's not, I think I was going to do plasma there, once we get plasma, maybe, I left those two ones empty, this is hydrogen, this one is, what's that one, that one's going to be, I don't remember what that one's going to be, oh no, that one's going to be trinium, which we're not producing yet, this one is the uh, deuterium, this one is helium, helium-3, and then we have honey. This is going to be seed oil, and the first one will be the liquid DNA. So pretty cool. And how I did for this setup, I have now two signals for everything, which is kind of wasteful, but it's the only way I could really work this out. Um, this is the input, so I can pump from anywhere from a tesseract, um, in this case liquid DNA, into there. And then here, this isn't necessary. I can have that in or out, doesn't matter because I have it on both sides. So I'll make it go a little faster. And also I can actually see which liquids, like for instance right now, this one's pumping in. It gives you a little visualization for that. But it goes first into here, then into the quantum tank. So let's look at this one because actually I stopped. So then into the quantum tank, then from the quantum tank, let's go underneath and look. It's a little squirrely how it goes. It squirrels down to here and then around and then then into finally the side of the iron tank so that this way if the quantum tank's empty but I have a little bit of liquid I can actually see and see when I'm getting low on stuff visually and then from the bottom here it then pumps out to the output tesseract where I have the second signal for each one to be out. So I think that should work pretty well. I actually heard, I don't know if it's in this update or another one, that you no longer need um, switches if you have the uh, conduits, the liquid, I think that's what it's called, liquid conduit, um, or liquid, oh, I forget what they're called, liquid ducts. Um, if you have the arrow, you may not need the switch anymore. I don't know, the lever, but I'll find out about it. I won't figure that out right now. So we have that all set and the quantum chests aren't working with AE correctly. Last time I checked, it was crashing the server every time when you did the storage bus. So that we're gonna hold off on. This will be our master storage room, and then we'll have tanks on both sides, and that should be pretty cool. So anyway, let's now go down or up, 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 up to our B room. It's gonna be nice since we have teleporters to get everywhere. And I'll just show you quickly, I didn't do too much here. I think I added in a few more centrifuges or one more centrifuge and I just have the different combs going into them so that I can automatically get that honey and everything we need. So all these are just doing the combs. These guys are, none of them are set up. The carpenters, none of them are set up to the AE yet. But then this guy I have set up to do the honey and this is a squeezer so it's putting all the honey that we get in through the tesseract down to the tank and then this one's doing the seed oil but we're pretty much out of seeds <laughs> as it is and really low on seed oil so then these guys I have this one going on water and so you can see the tesseract right there this one is doing we got to make these guys these scented panelings and this is kind of our number one priority right now so that we can get those um, aviaries aviary blocks so why don't I grab those out and let's see to get these yeah I need to pump this stuff in so I'm gonna do this you know what why don't we should we do that right now so we can get I'll, I'll hold off a minute but we're gonna do that today 
And I also, let's take a look over to B World. All right, I got this not automated per se, but it's a little bit better. I was worried about stuff getting overflowed and we're gonna slowly move off these chests completely, but I do have it set up now. I just put in a second uh, apiarist pipe so that now the bees still do go into the chests, but all the items come out and go through here and boom, into an item tesseract. I have it going on my quarry signal right now and it gets all the combs and honey and all that good stuff back to our base where we can actually process it. So very, very cool. Now, a lot of people were a little worried about the bees and didn't want me to go crazy into it like Hypno did or so many other people. Um, basically, our immediate goal with this, I want to get the aviaries. And because we have apiaries, but we want aviaries, the big multi-block um, breeding structures. And I want to get the redstone bees. After that, we're going to barely do bees probably at all even though i enjoy them and i may still do them i'm not going to kill them to death so anyway that's where that is today i want to get the liquid dna um all set up and start to pump in so we can get going on the advanced machines and if we have time maybe we'll start breeding the redstone bees so let me just get things set up and we'll be right back all right guys so let's get this going um and i want to say by the way a lot of the stuff i'm doing with the bees people are telling me go to gb's bee academy or watch hypno's video this or that and a lot of the bees i'm kind of enjoying learning it as i go so when i'm showing you stuff it's just so i don't do it off camera so we're going to be kind of learning this together now i've been told for the dna basically we already looked at that last time you pump bees into the gene pool now apparently um, in the comments, you guys said, if I first look, do a bee through a beelizer and then put it in the gene pool, you actually get a little bit more DNA. Now, that's kind of tedious and annoying to do, to have to do every single bee. But I came across this, and this was also mentioned in the comments, so thank you guys. Um, a lot, there's machines, and there's actually two of them. I thought there was only one, so I don't know if one of them's new. But um, one of these guys is going to basically do that step for us, putting it through the beelizer for us as long as we give it honey. So let's go ahead and craft this. We're going to have to get some more beelizers. So I set up in the carpenter. So that should be pretty simple. I think all I need to do is start adding in glass. So let's make two of them for now. And we're going to have to wait on that. Now other stuff, we need the sturdy casing. We already got that. And we should only need two of them. So let me put that back. Come on, buddy. Why are you so slow? We need overclockers. Oh, man. There's so much that we got to get fixed, though, with all of our other machines. There's, I guess you might be able to overclock, a friend told me, um, blast furnaces and all sorts of other Greg Tech machines now. So that would be really cool if that's the case. And then you got to do all sorts of stuff to upgrade the heating blocks now on the bla industrial blast furnace. Oh, can't stop thinking about it but i just want to finish up these dang bees to get them out of the way all right almost got our second one done let's go let's go let's go noise all right so we got two beelizers now i should be able to just go like this and shift it what am i missing what am i oh no that's it that's it okay so let's get that one, and then let's get this other one too. And we can kind of see what the difference is. But I don't have, is it redstone that I need? Let me look again. Redstone and gold. So we can grab some redstone out of here. Just fine. And let's grab some gold. Man, and look at, right now I'm auto-producing gold dust. It's an off product, I believe, from the centrifuging of the glowstone. So we've got so much gold, gold for days, gold for days. All right, um, I think that was everything we needed. All right, so we got those two bad boys. And let's sort of see what the heck they do. We got to give power to all these things, of course. But let's first put down the two B Elizer thingies. You know what? We want some conduit pipe as well. We'll grab that too. 
So, let's set down an energy tesseract. Um, I guess right here is good a place as any for today. And let's get some stuff coming off here. And have it go from behind. Okay. And we'll run our machines off of that. Okay, so let's first put this analyzer down. That should get power now. Yep, it's actually connecting. Really interesting look. It's like hollow. Okay, so here I gotta fill it up with honey. And I believe a bee just goes in and then pops out the other side. Let's see, missing resources. All right. And you can actually choose the access on the machines. A lot of the forestry things have that. So there's that one, and then there's this one. What does this one do? Huh. Bee analyzer. So that has power. Oh, that's not actually requiring honey or anything. Maybe with it. Oh, this one might not even require power. I don't know. This one's either nowhere near as good or it just doesn't isn't going to end up doing the function we want. So let's grab a bee. Any old bee will do. And let's see what happens when we put it in here. All right. You really didn't do very much for me. Maybe we put honey in there. Is that the case? Do we have any honey? Or am I using it all? Okay. I think I set up my AE to keep at least 200 honey drops in the system at all time. All right. That doesn't do anything. All right. This may be more complex than I know, or I don't know. Why don't you guys tell me in the comments what the heck this thing is? I'm going to assume that's not the one, though, that we want. So anyway, let me know if I should be using this is B analyzer one and that's B analyzer two, which one I actually want to be using. So we'll use this one for now. Now let's see here. So from there, I'm curious if it will go straight to the gene pool or if we have to pump it. I'm assuming we'll probably have to pump it from this to the other. So let's put honey in here. If we throw the honey drops in. Is that how that works? Oh, it's got to be in a cell. So instead, we are going to take a liquid tesseract. And I guess we'll, for now, just plop you right there. And since we have the honey all set up, all I got to do is turn it off, go owner only, receive only, and honey out. Let's see if this works. Set frequency. And there we go. Awesome. Okay, so now when I throw a bee in here, it gets analyzed and then it stays there. Can we set this to anything else? All right, let's see if we can pump this out. So let's move you over one and let's 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 grab pipe and let's grab an target gate all right so this is going to hopefully pump this out of the machine so when we go there go there and you know what this doesn't have power yet so maybe I does that not require power did we set? I don't think I set this up yet. That may not require power. Let's see. We want this owner only. Receive only. And DMAC base. So I don't even think this thing needs power. Interesting. All right. Let's. If it didn't need power, then it wouldn't matter. Okay. So now let's set down our gene pool. And let's set this to then be when redstone signals off, energy pulsar. There we go. And we have our B coming out. 
awesome. Very good. Okay. So, what we're going to want, eventually I'll just have this, a tesseract, going straight into this. Maybe or no, I probably need it going into an indexer first. So let's see if this works without power now. And if I can shift this over one, so it'll give us more room for pipes. All right, so let's grab another B. How about you? And let's stick them in. All right, doesn't need power, just needs honey. And it's pumped through. And our gene pool needs power. Should be getting power. Oh, that would help. Awesome. So that goes through the analyzer pretty quick. Just Assassin was saying it was slow, but I don't know. It seems good enough. All right, so now let's get this a going. And we'll have the index for now as a buffer in case we're getting bees faster than we can process them. Um, so we're going to need more pipe. Sorry about my keyboard, guys. I am saving up for a new one. I was an idiot and went... This this keyboard's fairly new, too. It's the uh, Black Widow Stealth, I believe. And, of course, I fell for the whole thing. Oh, it's stealth. It's going to be, they say, virtually silent. No, it's loud. And it's a mechanical keyboard. So I'm going to have to end up getting... I'm probably going to go with Logitech. But something that will be much quieter. All right, so for this guy, for now we'll go like that. And of course I forgot to grab more pipes. So let's go ahead with the gold, gold, gold. Where are you, buddy? Am I out of gold pipes? My goodness, I guess we don't even really need gold. So I'll just grab you for now. And we'll go right into the back. Like dish. All right. So let's grab this gate now and let's turn this on to signal off and energy pulsar. Sweet. So we have the bees coming out. Let's see how it works out when they go in. What if it's fast enough? Where the hell are they going? Okay, they're going in. Ew, that is kind of slow. Oh no. Alright, that's no good. That is no good at all. Alright, so if that's not going to work, what are we going to do? Maybe I'll need several analyzers? Or else once, if I just use stacking bees? Because this is all the random bees. I wonder if it will work directly from an indexer. That is a curious thought. Hmm. Let's make another one. Because it looks like we're gonna have to make another one anyway. Um bum bum bum. You just need two glass. So I'll have that worked out. I'm gonna try it right next to the indexer and see if that will analyze bees that way. Oh, we're gonna lose all of our honey. Mm. All right, let's go get our other indexer. I think I have two indexers. Let's see, is this one empty, hopefully? Yes, this one's empty. So we'll grab you. Let's go back. And let me see how this works out. If I put you directly next to it, Let's grab out a few bees. If I stick you in there, will you go directly? No. All right, so that was silly. Um, let's see, other settings, other settings. Could do pipe empty, we could loop it, we could... If I did it with AE, that would probably be ideal, because then it would only set it send it when it's necessary to be sent 
Hmm. Let me figure out a setup for this real quick. All right, guys. So I just snaked around <laughs> in AE pipe. I was trying to figure out how the heck to get it here, but it's pretty easy, pretty easy. So I was thinking about it. Um, I heard that you can put storage buses on the whole, on the B indexers. So I want to see if that's the case. This actually could be potentially really easy. I'm thinking now though, it might be an issue with all the different types of bees. So I don't know how AE is going to treat it. Um, I guess we can try it right here with the whole storage bus thing. So why don't we knock you out right there and let's just again snake a wire over. Should be pretty easy. Yep. All right. Let me actually get there. Come here, buddy. Oh, so many things in the way. Don't you hate that? All right. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to do it like that. And we'll fly around. Okay. So, we'll see if this works or not. Otherwise, I'll just have some type of maybe semi-looping thing. Actually, I wonder if an indexer can go on top. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know. I'm probably gonna derp this up quite a bit, but I would like to try this regardless. So here, it's not gonna waste up all my storage drives doing the whole storage bus with the bees. So if I do, oh, block lag, block lag. Um, Schism's doing a live stream right now, so he's probably flying around at top speeds, going insane. All right, come on, can I? Okay, good. So I set this down, and let me throw some bees in here. Okay, and now I should be able to access this. B... All right, let's see if I take those out of there, what happens? So I noticed we had two different types of Rocky Bees. And now we only have one type. Okay, so it does work. And it's keeping it separate from the other bees. So let's throw those in, let's throw these in. And again, let's look in the AE system. Maybe I'll just have to recycle one type of bee through this. Um, Rocky, yep, so you see all those different ones in there. All right, so that might work as a buffer. Now, if I can yank that out, and let's put a export bus onto the Bealizer, or whatever the heck this thing's called. All right, dancing pipe, dance, dance, dance. And let's snake this through. Okay. So now we have the export bus on this. And what's going on here? Okay, so it's not doing anything yet. And why don't we choose a bee? Oh, we don't have any bees in here yet either. This, no, we do have some bees. So in our B indexer, let's find a B that we have a bunch of. Um, do we have any other cruddy bees that we have a bunch of? Come on. This is what I'm worried about is there's so many different item IDs. This may end up not working out as well as I'd like. All right, no. So... Come on, why are you so slow? All right, we'll use this common drone here. We'll use you, go back in. Go back in. Okay. We'll put on the filter here. Do this common drone. And I guess move single items for now is fine. Just so we don't have crazy stuff going on. All right, so now if we pump this in, we should end up getting those. Energy Pulsar. 
I probably could have taken, just put the storage bus under that, but I was a little concerned if it didn't work well, how that would end up working out. So I'm going to hold on to that because that's the one that we're using in our filter. Let me give this a minute to actually transfer over all the bees. All right, guys, it is working. Um, I can just be very specific with what bees I want to do. And when we end up breeding and not making all sorts of random stuff. So that is pretty cool. It's going through now. Just taking out those stacked common drones. I guess they don't stack. Oh, no, they can stack in there. So maybe if I change this now to do stack at a time, let's see what happens. Yank, yank. All right. So that might be a little bit better. Awesome. So it is slow. It's not the best, but it does automate it. So we're probably going to have multiple bee analyzers going on, unless you guys can tell me a better way of doing this. So it doesn't look like that's going to be any faster. So anyway, that's cool. Now that this is going, let's set up. I don't think this pushes liquid out, so I think we have to do... A, and actually, this will be a good test to see if they updated the tesserats or the liquiducts. If I go like that, all right, it's not pushing it out. If I add a lever, lever, it is. Okay, so it looks like that hadn't been changed yet. So I'll knock you out. I'm going to put this behind. Like so. And then let's put another liquid tesseract let's get one of those let's see liquid tesseract thank you and let's go boom oh we have to have it two away derpity derp all right that's actually fine we'll go like that Connect and like so. Is that, did I set down the wrong tesseract? Yeah, I did. Now it connects. Okay. So let's set the signal up. Let's make this owner only, send only, DNA in, and set frequency, disable redstone. Awesome. Now we'll take the DNA as we get it. So slowly, but it's it's a working. And it's going to be using up a lot of our honey, but we have that automated already. Awesome. And of course, I'll need a couple of these. I'll have to put more different types of bees in this filter. So we can actually, as this empties out, let's run back to our place here. And this is, you know, I'm just because I don't think we have a ton of time left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all these pipes and all the bees that we actually want to keep. We're going to have a stack buffer, I believe, in each of these. So like these ones that we have fully automated, we're going to have the immediate stack. And it's not until there's more than a stack in here that it actually recycles down to that chest. So that ends up working perfect. It'll give us the amount of bees that we want. I'll just have another line coming out right here and here. And just another pipe. I have to go two down. Going all the way across. And then over here, we'll just put another item tesseract. In fact, I could... Yeah, we'll put... No, I could have it go on the same one. But I might set up another one that's got its own bee signal. Just so we know. And then... All these guys, we only have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have a lot, but I'll set up as many max number of bees on the filter. And since all these guys stack, it should work a lot better. A lot better. So that's the plan for that. And I'll probably do that off camera in between now and next episode. But let's go check on our tank. Make sure that's filling up. Awesome. Look at that freaking sweet so hopefully come next episode i will have all my extra bees all grinded up and all set 
that is pretty sweet. And then we can start getting into the other B machines. That, again, I'll probably get through all that I want to do in one or two episodes or only parts. But um, I'm thinking uh, I'm probably do a little bit of bees next time. But I'd like to get some of our Greg Tech stuff finished up, at least for those two machines that we showed off this uh, beginning of the episode. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to take off. It's getting really late and got way too much done off camera today. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give a big old thumbs up. It does help me get much better noticed on YouTube for my Minecraft. Um, we got a new person to join the server, a friend of mine, which uh, actually next episode might be introducing him to the server. So we'll see, but a lot of you guys know him, and you're going to be excited, and you're not going to expect this. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, but yeah. So guys, comment, like, subscribe, and peace out.